Hello Sagittarius, this is Renee and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is going to be a general reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Um, this reading is timeless, so whenever you see this reading is when you were meant to receive it. And Sagittarius, what is going on with you right now? What are your energies? We have some cards that flipped out. We have air magic. And we have sun and stars. So, Sagittarius, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, you could be dealing with a air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, you could also be dealing with the Pisces. Uh, but I feel like with this air magic and sun and stars, I feel like you're going through a bright, very bright time. You're having a lot of fun, uh, Sagittarius. We also have affirmations for growth. So, you know, with this Sagittarius, I feel like you are communicating a lot. Uh, you may be very open to communication. I feel like you may be having a lot of fun as well. Uh, this may be a lot of good times that you're sharing with friends, family, people around you, your soul tribe, or what have you. But I feel like, you know, there are some things that are better left unsaid, you know. There are some things that you need to keep to yourself. Don't divulge um, too much information. Don't let people know all of your business, Sagittarius. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm kind of feeling like if you let people know too much of your business, then it's going to kind of come back and bite you. What else do we have for Sagittarius? Get creative and excite your imagination with wonder. Okay. And we also have let go of control and relax into the flow. Yeah, so I mean, I feel like you're having a very good time. I feel like things are really going for you right now. Um... Sagittarius. What else do we have for Sagittarius? Victim. Okay, someone around you feels like a victim. This may be your energy, um, but I feel like it may be someone else's who is around you. And we also have wisdom. So I feel like you're learning lessons in this situation. Maybe that's the reason why we have the victim card here. You may be learning lessons at this time, um, Sagittarius, there may be something around you that's kind of teaching you something that you don't realize you need to know. You know, it. sometimes we have to go through things in order to gain the knowledge that's going to push us further and make us grow. Um, so that may be what you're going through. You may be going through some kind of situation that is a teachable moment. You know, uh, even with the world card, we kind of learn our lessons and we complete a cycle. And I feel like that may be what you're going through. I feel like you may be going through a, a world moment to where you're learning some kind of lessons because you're moving through this cycle. You're at a completion. And you're ready for a new beginning. Tara, give me a message for a Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know? For a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What does Sagittarius need to go know for their highest good? Yeah, we have the Four of Pentacles. So definitely, definitely, don't and don't speak so fast that you're letting out secrets. There's some things that you want to hold to yourself. There's some things that you want to keep to yourself. You don't want to let everyone know, know your business. 
we also have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, and I feel like you're communicating a lot. Or other people are communicating about you. You know, because sometimes if we put our business out there, I feel like that starts rumor and gossip. People start talking about what you're telling them. You know, it goes from one person to the next person to the next person. And then it comes around to someone that you don't want to know that information. You know, and I feel like that's kind of what's going on. Yeah, we have the devil card. Yeah. So someone's intentions are not what they seem, Sagittarius. Someone is being very conniving. Someone may be obsessed with making you look bad. Um, but the devil energy, this is your current energy so I feel like you may be obsessing about some certain situation there's something toxic around you that's kind of blocking your energy it's putting your negative it's pulling your positive energy and it's very negative you know um this may be something that you're addicted to, something that you're obsessing about. Yeah, we have the Three of Wands, okay. And the Death card. Yeah, you are... You're going through this time period Sagittarius where you may be blocking your blessings you may be blocking what's intended to come forward for you because I see that you know you're in the near future you're expanding you're expanding your horizons and you're transforming your situation you're making big changes something is growing inside of you that's you know, it can either devour you or it can expand you further. You know, and I feel like whatever this situation is, it's something that you still have control over. It's something that you can change um, by taking action. Maybe thinking about what is blocking you. What are you obsessing over? Uh, what is toxic in your life that you need to release so that you can expand and go through this transformation, go through this big change, um, this change that you need to go through? With the death card, it's very apparent that, you know, the death card, he is going along this path. You know, and these changes are unexpected. They're kind of coming quickly. And, you know, you don't, you may not have control over what changes you go through. That's the reason why I'm saying you need to change your situation so that you can go through these changes and, and expand and grow into the person you were meant to, you know? Um, but yeah, I really feel like these changes are something that, that's needed. They're needed in order to take you to a better place, to take you to some place where you are inspiring, you know, you're taking action. You're not standing still. You're growing. See, you, you have the three of wands. You're moving into the four of wands and you're taking action with the eight of wands. This is very fiery, very passionate, very, very moving energy. Fiery is Fire is very moving. It's very energetic. 
Um, fire is also very creative. It's very passionate. So I, I feel like with all these wands in your chart right now, I feel like you're showing up in a very strong place, Sagittarius, because you are fire. Sagittarius is fire, you know? This The wands are all about you, all about your sign, all about, you know, your journey through the tarot, your journey through your life. Tell me more, Spirit. Give me a message for Sagittarius. Yeah, the Two of Pentacles. So you're currently at a crossroads. There are certain choices that you need to make. Um, and I feel like these choices may not be easy. You may have to weigh your options and make your choices wisely. Yeah, you have the Queen of Swords. So Sagittarius, some kind of truth is being revealed. Something you're going to find out about. Someone is being very honest in this situation. They may be telling you. They may be telling you exactly what you're wrong about. Or where they think you're going. You know, I feel like this person is being very blunt. But they're doing it for your own good. You have the Six of Cups. They're doing it for your own good. They're doing it to... Um, help you through this. You know, they're being honest and open with you. Um, showing... A gift showing their care. This may be a family member. This may be a family member who's being very honest and open with you. Because I, I feel like, you know, whatever this is, the truth needs to come out. It needs to be revealed. But it needs to be revealed to you. It doesn't need to be revealed to other people. And I feel like once other people get to hear what this information is, I feel like they will run with it. They'll start rumors. They'll start talking. They'll start spreading lies or whatever. The, I mean, the story will switch up dramatically about whatever this situation is. And I feel like this is all for your greater good. This is all to help you regain your innocence. You know, this is someone helping you through this situation. And this person may have been away from you for a while. They may have kind of kept their distance. But I feel like they're coming in because for some reason, either you or the person that you're dealing with needs help. So I, I feel like they sense that they're needed, so they, they kind of show up. They may be unexpected. Yeah, someone's coming to offer you some kind of help to offer you the truth. You know, this is someone offering you to gain your balance with the justice card and the the six of pentacles they're offering to to help you through this situation to help you regain your balance in this situation to regain something that you may have lost they're giving you a generous gift of generosity of help you know and i feel like at first you may not see it like that i feel i feel like at first you're going to be very defensive you're going to be wanting to hold back. Um, at first, you may not want this person's help. You may tell them to mind their business, you know. But I feel like once you think about it and talk with this person, 
and communicate how you feel, what you're going through. I feel like you're going to openly accept this person's help. You're going to openly, openly accept um, whatever generosity that they're giving because you, you know that it's needed. That's the only way for you to get unblocked from this negative energy that's surrounding you. Okay, Spirit. Let's clarify these cards. What is this Four of Pentacles? Give me a message for this Four of Pentacles, please. You're the Hermit. You may have been holding your communication back so much that you may have been um, just feeling like being alone. I feel like, you know, as soon as you hear people are talking, you're like, I'm, I'm just going to dwell in my own space. I'm not going to be around people. You're just going to. Kind of seclude yourself but i feel like by doing that you're kind of holding back your healing you're holding back your healing you're not giving yourself the wisdom that you need in order to grow through this and i'm i didn't say go through this i said grow through this and i feel like that's what you need to do you need to grow through this situation you need to expand you need to gain your spiritual guidance that's going to help you through this um spirit give me a message for this knight of swords yeah we have the seven of wands so yeah, whatever communication that this person is bringing you, I feel like it's making you very defensive. You really don't want to hear what this person has to say. You don't want to hear what information this person has to give. Um, you're trying to protect yourself from this. You feel like you're trying to protect yourself, but actually you're just blocking yourself further, you know? Because I feel like this person is trying to protect you from what other people are saying. This person is protecting you from the gossip, the rumors, the, the people spreading lies about you. Tell me about this devil energy, spirit. Give me some more detail about this devil energy yeah the eight of swords the eight of swords I don't think you're ready to let yourself be free from this devil energy I feel like you're still blocking yourself you still feel like you're not able to resist whatever this temptation is Whatever this situation is that's making you isolate, that's making you, you know, just imprison yourself. I feel like this blockage runs very deep. Sagittarius. With the Three of Wands, we have the Two of Cups. So I feel like someone cares so deeply about you. And, and not to say this may not be love. This may be friendship. This may be a partnership. This may be someone coming in who, who really sincerely wants to help. Someone sincerely wants to help you through whatever this is. Now, for a few of you, this can be love. Um, but I really feel like this is someone who truly cares about you. Truly cares about your well-being. Truly cares about your friendship. 
about how you see yourself, you know? Tell me about this death card spirit. The Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. With the death card and the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like you're ready to go on it alone. You're ready to really seclude yourself, to really distance yourself from people. Um, to just block everyone from entering your space. This is you really building up those walls, you know. You're really building those walls to maintain your independence. To maintain your, you know, your private space. Tell me about this Four of Wands, Spirit. Give me a message for this Four of Wands. The Sun. The Sun, the sun is in reverse. So I feel like where you could be happy, Sagittarius, you should be celebrating. You should be making plans. You should be, you know, doing all these things to bring you happiness. And even though the sun card is in reverse, the sun card is still the sun card. You can't make this a negative card. So I feel like you have happiness, but you have happiness awaiting on the other side of that wall. You understand what I mean? You, you are waiting for your happiness to arrive. And I feel like... That can only happen if you remove this blockage. You remove this temptation, this addiction. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be an addiction, but that is what the devil means. The devil is addiction. It's being greedy, being envious, being materialistic obsessing over certain situations it also means like a sexual addiction you know any kind of addiction um spirit give me a message for this eight of wands give me a message for this eight of wands what is this energy please <laughs> yeah the ten of pentacles the ten of pentacles is in reverse wow so Instead of taking action on your happiness, taking action on what makes you the happiest, I feel like you're, you're just moving in the opposite direction. You are kind of lacking taking action. I feel like, you know, where you really yearn for this deep change I feel like you may not be able to make it because by making this quick change it's going to take a choice it's going to take action and I feel like you know you're in this blocked energy you may not be able to make this change to make this choice to make a change you know um Hmm. What is this Two of Pentacles spirit? Give me a message for this Two of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles. Yeah. You need to make a choice, but you're scared. You feel left out in the cold. You feel like you're alone. Because you're making yourself be alone, Sagittarius. You feel like you're, you're lacking certain things in your life because you're blocking everything that can be good. Everything, you know, it may be that you're just speaking negative things. You may have a real negative attitude right now. Maybe you feel like nothing's going right, like nothing is, is coming about that is kind of worthy of making you happy but i feel like with the five of pentacles i feel like you're 
you just become feeling abandoned. You feel unloved, you know? I feel like you you feel like these people have left left you behind like all they do is talk about you all they do is is say things about you but i feel you know but sagittarius in reality it's you blocking your blessings by s accepting these negative things that are being said by accepting these negative things in your mind space by accepting them in your heart or feeling bad about the situation. You know, if we feel bad about what people say, we're actually accepting what they say. If we feel bad about, you know, actions that people do to us, we're accepting what they do to us. We're taking that in. We're accepting what other people are kind of um what other people are trying to expose us to we're kind of conforming to other people's expectations about the situation not our own expectations because we won't accept the good in the situation that the good that can be you have the 10 of pentacles in reverse the sun in reverse you know, so I feel like the, the good that's trying to come in is being blocked. So, I mean, we need to figure out why that's being blocked and try to reverse that energy. Speak more positivity into your life. Speak positive words. Say positive affirmations. Do meditation. You know, don't be a victim, Sagittarius. You're too good for that. You're too good to be a victim. And I feel like you need to hear the truth, Sagittarius. You need to set yourself free from this energy. Spirit, give me a message for this Queen of Swords. Who is this Queen of Swords? Who is this person coming into Sagittarius' life to speak them the truth? Who is this person? What message do we have? The Three of Swords. This may have been someone who has been through the same thing that you, you're going through now. This is someone who felt the same pain. Someone who's been through the same heartache, has the same fears. This is someone who maybe dealt with the same problems. Tell me more about this. The Six of Cups. Yeah, this may be a family member. We have the Six of Cups here and the Six of Cups here. So this is someone from your past who may have cared enough to tell you about this situation because they felt the same heartbreak that you're feeling right now. They felt the same thing. That's the reason why they're trying to come in and save you from that heartbreak save you from that fear that doubt that pain that you're actually feeling right now you know what is the six of cups energy spirit give me a message for the six of cups energy the hierophant yeah someone's coming to teach you a lesson someone's coming to teach you a lesson see the hierophant the Hierophant is the teacher of wisdom. Spirit, give me a message about this Justice card. What is this Justice card for Sagittarius? The Lovers. Yeah. Whatever this is, this person cares very deeply. And they really want to shelter you from um, feeling whatever this is. They, they want to save you from the karma that all this negative energy is bringing this may be someone coming in and i feel like you know it may be someone from your past someone from your past may love you enough even though maybe you broke their heart this person loves you enough to 
kind of stand by you and help you through this situation. This person wants to give you love and comfort. They want to support you through this situation. What is the Six of Pentacles? The Three of Wands. Yeah, so you're going to, with this person's help, Sagittarius, you're going to slowly move through this energy. You're going to slowly defeat this negative energy. You're going to be a stronger person because you have the opportunity to do so. And you have the opportunity because of this person coming forward. Let's see, what other messages do we have for Sagittarius? Let's see. What is going to be the outcome of the situation? The Nine of Wands in reverse. And the Eight of Wands in the upright. And the Ace of Swords. Okay. And you have the Five of Cups. Yes. Yes, I love this energy for you, Sagittarius, because it means that you're moving away from this negative energy. You're moving past this negative energy. You're leaving it behind. And I feel like with this person, you're lowering your guard. You're, you're letting this person come in and you're letting this person take action to help you. You're accepting their communication and you're kind of accepting what they're saying to you even though even though their words may be very hard to accept very hard to accept and it it kind of cuts like a knife when they're speaking the, these words to you but i feel like you're letting this person in you're taking comfort in what they're saying and you're kind of taking it all in you're hearing the truth and the truth is going to set you free the truth is going to bring a new beginning. Definitely love this energy for you. Definitely love this energy for you. Okay, Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know to get through this, this challenge? What does Sagittarius need to know? Surrender. I can release my need to control. Yes. Surrender. Surrender in order to gain wisdom and happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. Yeah, surrendering is going to bring you into your happiness. Exactly. Okay, let's see what other messages do we have for Sagittarius. We have facing fear. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. Yeah, taking a chance. Taking this chance on asking for help and accepting it is going to change everything for you, Sagittarius. We also have humanity and beliviance. Stay calm. Trust the good in yourself and others and see the light of the world. So, yeah, I, I feel like there's a light at the end of the tunnel for you. Definitely. Okay, Sagittarius, we have courageous peony. We have multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. At the bottom, we have remember. Soul plan is... The fated life versus the destiny life. So, you know, are you going to follow your fate or are you going to follow your destiny? You know, your fate may be leading you into this negative energy. But your destiny is leading you into happiness. Okay, one more message for Sagittarius, and then we're going to answer a question. Okay, Sagittarius, what, what messages do we have for Sagittarius? This is a learning experience. 
this is something that you need to go through so that you can get to your healing energy, Sagittarius. This is something that needs to happen so that you can learn and grow through the situation. Okay, Sagittarius, if you'd like to pause the video for a moment and ask your question, and then we're going to get some answers for you. Um, go ahead and ask your question now. Spirit, what answers do we have for Sagittarius? What do we have for Sagittarius for the highest good? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Forgiveness. Forgive, Sagittarius. Even if he, it's forgiving yourself. But forgiveness is going to open you up to choose a new direction. What else do we have for Sagittarius? Improving your health. Okay. And I feel like there's going to be helpful people who are going to help you along the way. We see that with the Six of Cups twice here. We see that you have people. You have love. You have the Two of Cups. You have the uh, the lovers. So I definitely feel like people love. They care about you. They want to see you at your best, Sagittarius. So yes, that is your reading. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And also take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. And Sagittarius... Until the next reading, many blessings, love and light.